Hello and a very warm welcome to the awarding ceremony of the CERN Webfest 2020. Andrew, it's hard to believe for me that we have reached the end of the hackathon actually. Yes, it is indeed. It's been a, a long weekend and uh, so much has been done in that time. It's, it was already very impressive indeed to see all of your hard work uh, yesterday evening. And I'm very pleased for all of those who are now joining us uh, for the first time. They're going to find out about some of these projects. And of course, all of the information about uh, what people have been doing over the weekend will be available on our Webfest website, webfest.cern, very shortly. So let's dive straight uh, into, the, uh, into our highlights and winners. I'm very excited to see uh, our highlights and our overall winner. So um, first things first, we'd like to extend a big thank you to all of those who have uh, taken part and indeed all of those who have supported the Webfest in any way. We had uh, 450 people sign up uh, for the Webfest and these people really did come from all over the world. As you'll see on your screens in a moment, um, there were people representing uh, six continents. So this has been uh, fantastic uh, seeing so many of you come from all over the world uh, it's not just that we've had teams from particular countries or locations, but we've had teams that have been split all over um, the world, thus allowing them to continue working essentially from Friday evening Central European summertime right through to the deadline yesterday evening Central European summertime, with people passing over from one person to the next uh, once daylight hours began. So this has been absolutely fantastic uh, to see. Um, thank you very much uh, again. and. Uh, Congratulations to you all. Congratulations also from my side. And we would like to remind you that this year's Webfest was really, really special. As for the first time, we reached out to the whole world uh, trying to explore changing ways in which we collaborate to make science. So we were trying to uh, develop tools that uh, support um, scientific collaboration, remote scientific collaboration. Our topic was, as you can see now on the slide, working together about accelerating collaboration. And we thank all of you for your great contribution. Uh, we had overall 31 projects submitted and as Andrew mentioned before, you will be able to see all of them on our website later this week. Great. So um, today we're going to be inviting a number of people uh, onto the call to, to speak with us, both participants and uh, those who very kindly volunteered their time to help judge the, uh, the, project, um, the project submitted yesterday. So first of all, I'd like to invite a very special guest, um, Ben Siegel, who uh, is a CERN uh, honorary staff member, an inductee of the Internet Hall of Fame, and is indeed a co-founder of the Webfest back from when it first started in 2012. So over to you, Ben. Hello. It's an enormous pleasure for me to greet you all at the end of the ninth CERN Webfest and its first ever virtual edition. I've had fun, and I know you have, because I've been able to watch most of the action over Mattermost channels. Mattermost is a brilliant piece of software, in my opinion. I didn't have to work as hard as you did, though, even though the judging was pretty difficult. Lots of good projects, um, and I think we've chosen some real winners, as you'll see. I saw lots of talent, lots of learning going on, lots of energy, lots of engagement from all corners of the globe just like Andrew said. A huge cheer for the fantastic organizational team. They worked harder than anybody. It's been a memorable time for all. I'll waste no more time now, and I'm really excited like you to see the results. Thank you very much indeed, Ben. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. So we would now like to um, go over a quick recap of the activities from the weekend, both for the benefit of those who are perhaps joining us for the first time today, but also for everyone else, just to take a look at all of the great content we have uh, on our YouTube channels, which will also be linked to through the Webfest website soon, uh, that you will be able to watch at your leisure over the coming days. Perhaps there was a workshop you really wanted to attend, but you were just too busy hacking away. Well, they will all be there for you to browse at your leisure. So perhaps we can cut to the timeline. 
So it all began on Friday, uh, 26th of Ju June, uh, when uh, we began with a pitching session where all of your projects, all of your great ideas were presented. And then following that, we had uh, a networking session using uh, Remotely Green's very nice tool, uh, which I'm very pleased to, to let you know that we'll be having another session with Remotely Green straight after this, which is just for anyone that was in the Webfest that might like to chat with fellow participants, we're going to be opening another session with Remotely Green straight after this. So you can say farewell, um, have a debrief with your, with your friends and colleagues that you've made over the, um, over the last weekend. Our first hack and uh, day, uh, Saturday, started with um, our first Webfest fun session with yoga session. And we are really glad that a lot of you joined and enjoyed the session. And then this was the first um, of our um, how-to workshops. So this is run on how to frame a problem. So as I mentioned uh, just now, all of these how-to workshops will be available uh, on our website. And indeed, they're already available on the YouTube channels already for you to browse at your leisure. Afterwards, uh, we had a first update and feedback session where we had a chance to meet some of you, to meet, to meet some of our, our participants and uh, mentors, uh, where we gave you a feedback and uh, update on our uh, current program and the progress of our participants. And then just after that, um, CERN's head of computer security, uh, Stefan Luders, very kindly volunteered some of his time to talk about cybersecurity in the context of uh, the web and some of the kinds of apps and other tools that you might be developing over the weekend. Um, I followed that myself, and it was certainly a, a very interesting talk. I encourage you all to take a look at it. Afterwards, we had um, another how-to session, uh, namely how to communicate scientific topics, which was uh, moderated by my co-moderator, Andrew. Uh, I can highly recommend this session if you missed it. Uh, you will find a nice video from Sarah Charlie regarding the basic basics of scientific um, communication. So please, if you missed it, make sure you re recap it on YouTube and see it again. And then, of course, on Saturday evening, Central European Summertime, we had another one of our update and feedback sessions. Followed by another networking session with Remotely Green, where uh, you, our dear participants, were able to meet other teams, other teams members, and uh, get feedback on your projects you've been working on. And Saturday evening was uh, finished with some dancing. We had uh, some Zumba. Unfortunately, our uh, planned session, Webfest fun session, high intensity training was cancelled. So we apologize for that, but we hope you got some more time to finish your projects on Sunday. And then, of course, uh, on Sunday morning, Central European Summertime, we had uh, a very nice talk from uh, Manuela Cirilli of the CERN Knowledge Transfer Group on how to give a good presentation. And we could see from the videos uh, that you submitted yesterday that uh, you'd certainly taken some of these lessons on board. So well done for that. And then yesterday we had our last uh, update and uh, feedback session, again, uh, providing you uh, with all of our program and as uh, a progress of our participants, meeting some of you, chatting with some of you. It was really nice. And that was followed by another very practical hands-on session, which again, we can see you really uh, took some good uh, uh, lessons uh, from that and, uh, and applied them well. Uh, this was a session on how to create a simple video. And of course you created some, well, some of you created some simple videos and some of you created some very elaborate ones indeed, but they were all uh, excellent. And thank you again for, for those yesterday. And of course, over the weekend, we couldn't stop reminding you about our deadline for submitting the one uh, minute videos. Um, thank you so much. Most of you have kept the deadline, uh, which we're very thankful for. And uh, yep, you've done really good guys. And then of course we had our presentations yesterday evening. So uh, as mentioned, you've all submitted uh, short one minute videos as well as additional information about your projects. And this is all going to be available on our website very soon. And yesterday we finished with a great music session by DJ, DJ Collective Zontag Stiff. And I know a lot of you loved it. And thank you everyone who joined the session and for your positive feedback. And then uh, even though the hackathon itself had finished, that didn't mean that the uh, workshops were over. Indeed, we had one more workshop uh, just now, about uh, an hour ago, which was really about how to proceed with your projects. You know, you've done lots of great work over the weekend 
And uh, you know, one big challenge with any hackathon is to think about how that can then be taken forwards. We understand that you know, uh, people have dedicated a large amount of effort over the weekend and that level of, uh, of effort is not sustainable. So it's about thinking about how one can reasonably uh, you know, take these ideas and continue to run with them and, and perhaps develop them further over the coming weeks, months, or even years. So if you weren't able to take a look at that, I really do encourage you to do so. And now we have reached our awarding ceremony, close the closing ceremony of the first Global Sandweb Fest 2020. Thank you everyone for joining us. And please don't forget that right after this session, we will still have a chance to network with one another. But more details follow soon. Thank you for that. So one more thing that I would like to say, you know, is that in addition to our excellent workshops, we also had a number of mentors who are available to provide feedback, uh, guidance, and act as sounding boards throughout the weekend. So I'd like to extend a big thank you to each and every one of our mentors who you should be able to see on your screen in one moment. I believe you can see them now. Um, so thank you indeed to, to each and every one of you from all of us in the Webfest team. A big thank you also from my side. Uh, we really appreciate uh, your work, our dear mentors. We've seen your work on, on MetaMost uh, when you were replying to our participants in the daytime and at nighttime, uh, whenever it was needed, provided, providing your support, providing your help and advice. Uh, thank you so much. We do appreciate it a lot and uh, we are sure our participants appreciate it as well. So moving on to our next slide. We would like, of course, to also thank our dear judges for uh, giving their time and uh, joining the special edition of the Sun Web Fest. Uh, I would like to once again introduce you our 12 judges. So this were Alessandra Roy Rojas, Sustainable Entrepreneurship Manager at EPFL. Ben Siegel, a co-founder of the Sun Web Fest and an honorary staff member at Sun. Thank you so much, dear Ben, for being with us. Nikki Bechler, direct, um, sorry, uh, Bill Gademerkus, a professor of high energy physics uh, at the Middle East Technical University. Katerina Doleoni, a senior lecturer of, at Lund University. Charlotte Varakaulle, director for international relations at CERN. Dear Charlotte, thank you so much for joining us uh, at this year's webcast. David Galbraith, a uh, design and serial entrepreneur at Antisemis Group. Francois Gray, whom all of you already know, uh, is a, also a co-founder of SenWebFest and a director of the Geneva Tsingo Initiative at University of Geneva. Ines Knepper, Innovation and Hackathon Lead at World Economic Forum. Dear Ines, thank you for joining us. Uh, Jean-Pierre Raymond, a head of innovation partnerships. Jens Wiegen, a senior scientific information officer at CERN. Nikki Böchler, director of Open Data .ch. And last but not least, Rachel Ainsworth, Research Software Community Manager at Software Sustainability Initiative Institute. Thank you so much, dear judges. Uh, our participants were in good hands, as mentioned before. Uh, thank you for uh, giving your time and evaluating all the projects so carefully. So we'd, we'd now like to hand over to, to three of our judges who have kindly agreed to, to join us at, uh, at this session now. So uh, we would really like to get their perspectives on the Webfest. And we would first like to uh, ask Jean-Pierre Raymond, uh, Chargé de Mission and the Head of Innovation at Partnerships in Geneva uh, to join us, please. Yes, with great pleasure. Thank you, Andrew. Hello, <laughs> By the way, uh, hello to everyone. It's really a great pleasure to, to be with all of you. It has been uh, fantastic, very impressive. So first, congratulations uh, to, to the organizer and thank you for inviting me. By the way, I'm just not head of innovation in Geneva. I am at the Swiss mission to the UN. So I'm not a mission in my, on my own. I'm, I have a group around me. Apologies. So it's great on the side of, uh, also, if I may say, on the international Geneva to, to be with you, to see all this creativity. So really great congratulations to all the participants. 
you know, it has been quite difficult to, to be a judge because so many good projects were on display. So I have been really impressed by the amount of creativity, innovation, originality, and the talent that you have all uh, expressed during these two days. So I'm, I think it's a really a fantastic experience to be part. Of course, we'll see uh, in a few minutes uh, who are the winners. But I can tell you that it's important somehow, like in the Olympic Games, it's to participate. Because uh, what, is really, what matters really is to be able to connect with so many people around the world, to see so many people being active in solidarity. And nowadays, being uh, all somehow uh, apart, I think it's really important to, to have this kind of event and to see that it can work online as if it were in, uh, in situ. So once again, uh, congratulations to all of you. It's really important that you are able to, to offer this kind of uh, innovation and it will help all of us. I think it's also a lesson for the UN. We are somehow more uh, using some kind of uh, tools of another time because we were used to different uh, methods of work. But I, I think the situation we are in has all has shown to all of us that we can really change the way we work and be inspired by uh, all what you have done. So being in health, education, facilitating research or community in science, all the projects that you have uh, presented were really tremendous. And uh, I have been really impressed by the quality of the videos also. So I'm really pleased to be part of it. And I'm glad that now we'll have the pleasure to hear the result. And one final touch, I have been uh, really in line with, uh, with the jury. It's quite impressive that uh, the one I voted for is the one who has uh, won. So I'm really glad <laughs> okay. to see that we are really in line if we even, we didn't meet. So That's thank you, Andrew, and congratulations to all of you. That's great. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Jean-Pierre. We really appreciate your kind words. So, uh, oh, please go ahead, Anastasia. Uh, thank you so much also from my side and we would like now to invite uh, Ines Knepper, uh, innovation enthusiast and hackathon professional working for the Global Alliance for Trade Facilitation at the World Economic Forum. Dear Ines, please, the stage is yours. Yes, hello everyone and let me first start with a big congratulations to the organizers, the helpers, all the mentors, the judges, all the ones who provided the how-to sessions and shared their learning, and obviously also to the participants. Really, really well done. You have really done a fantastic job as a team. And you have showed just with this initiative here that you can work together apart. Everyone sitting in his own home, everyone contributing as best as they can over, I don't know how many time zones, on six continents, 450 people together on this. This is just fantastic. Well done, congratulations. And from a mentor and a judge perspective, I must really, really say, and I think I speak for all the other judges as well, it was a really, really difficult job to go through all these videos because they were all amazing. And to really come up with the highlights that are going to be released uh, hopefully very soon because I'm really, really um, yeah, nervous to see and, and afraid to see who is going to be the winner of this web fest. Um, I do not want to be in your shoes, Anastasia and Andrew, um, because it's really, really a great, great effort that you've done and we are all looking forward to hear the results. So thank you again so much, also in the name of the judges and um, to the participants, really, really well done, congratulations. Thank you so much, Ines. Uh, you know, as you just mentioned, it's so hard to choose among such great projects. And that's exactly what we also mentioned uh, at our, at our um, uh, very first session, pitching session, when we just uh, saw all the ideas submitted. We, we really we knew that they are all so great and we already then knew that it would, would be such a hard decision uh, also for you, our dear judges, to evaluate this project and to choose just just seven highlights and uh, one winner. So thank you so much for your great job. Uh, we know it wasn't easy, but um, you've done more than, more than well. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to supporting the WebFest. Um, I'm following the WebFest since 2016. Um, so really, really well done. And uh, it's really, really great to see that it moved to, from a physical event, now fully virtual. And um, you really, really nailed it. So congratulations again. It's really a wonderful festival. Thank you.
Thank you for your nice words, Ines. Thank you so much. Thank you. So thank you very much also from my side, Ines. And I'm very pleased to uh, let you know that we now have uh, one more judge who's going to join us. And that is indeed uh, Charlotte Barakola, a CERN Director for International Relations. So Charlotte, perhaps I could now uh, hand over to you. Thank you very much, Andrew, and, and congratulations to all of you, and certainly very much to Anastasia and you, because you have been in the hot seat, I think, throughout the weekend trying to moderate this. So thank you very much to you, and uh, and congratulations to all the participants on what they have achieved. It's been absolutely magnificent to uh, to follow. The WebFest, as you know, is a, is a fixture in the CERN calendar, and it's really a pleasure that we've been able to maintain it this year, even in these very unusual circumstances. So thank you very much also on behalf of, of CERN management. And the beauty of being the last judge to speak is of course that Jean-Pierre and Ines have already said it all and said it much better than I could. So I can really very much align myself uh, with what they've said. Thank you to you. Thank you to the organizing team, the mentors, um, the supporters of the event uh, and everybody who's been involved. And of course, also to the, to the fellow judges. And CERN is, of course, a very sort of appropriate frame to talk about how to collaborate and being together when you're apart, because much as we have a fantastic infrastructure here in the most sophisticated accelerator complex in the world, we're also a worldwide community of 17,000 colleagues working together. So even without COVID being an additional challenge, we are a a dispersed community that needs to find tools to work together. So this is a very important frame. And I can certainly relate to the challenges experienced by Jean-Pierre and Ines in terms of finding uh, a worthy winner, because I think all the projects are worthy winners in, in their own right. And the task was really, really, really quite hard. I followed also the online presentations yesterday. It was deeply impressive what had been uh, what had been achieved. What I have been struck by, I think, was actually how many of the projects also were beyond the COVID-19 context. And I think that speaks to a great understanding uh, of a wider context and of a societal engagement that goes beyond this particular context that we're in that is, of course, very, very particular and really touches all of us. But there's a great uh, sensitivity to a broader societal um to, to broader societal challenges, which I think is extremely valuable uh, in this particular context. And I think the breadth and the diversity of the project has been very, very uh, impressive. I think there are two aspects that really stood out for me, have stood out for me over the past couple of days and looking again at the projects this morning as we had to make some tough choices. And I think first is that uh, exchange is really the lifeblood of scientific advancement. Uh, real scientific breakthroughs cut across all national boundaries, all disciplinary boundaries, all thematic boundaries. Um, it, is, it is when we are in this context where we tend to look maybe uh, in national contexts and more narrow contexts for solutions. I think this is a brilliant reminder of the value of exchange. And it is really only through exchange that a good idea can be nourished to become transformative action. And I think that's an important point that really stands out from, from these two days. And second of all, the human dimension matters. We talk a lot about the technology and how technology enables, but it's the people behind the technology that really matter. It's the innovation, it's the creativity, it's the sensitivity, it's the judgment that is behind um, uh, the understanding that's behind the technology that really makes it deliver for all of us. And I think that has really shone through in all of the projects. And I think the way that all the participants have worked together has just been a fantastic demonstration of the value of this human dimension. And I think with the talent that we've seen over the last couple of days, there's really much to be optimistic about. I think we're living through a time where there's a there's a lot of concern, there's a lot of anxiety about what the world is, is where it's headed. Uh, what will the world look like in three months, six months, 12 months, 10 years time? But I think with the with the talent that we see around us in this WebFest, I think there's really much reason to be hopeful because when you can bring that talent and your understanding of the world around you uh, to such good use and to the service of uh, people at large, I think there's really much hope for all of us. So thank you very much for giving us that hope and for being part of the WebFest over the last couple of days. And congratulations to all of you for what you have achieved. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Charlotte. And thank you again to all of our judges. It was lovely to finish on such a positive note. And we were indeed all struck by how great it was to see people from all over the world with such a diverse range of skills and perspectives collaborating together. And as you will be able to see from, from the projects uh, on the website and from the projects that you're about to have presented to you, 
indeed all of the projects. Uh, this was really uh, for a very good uh, cause and all of this has come together very, very nicely indeed. And we would now uh, like to remind you, our dear participants, uh, the three main criteria that our judges uh, were taking into account while evaluating your projects. So I'm sure you already know them by heart, but just to make sure this were in your innovation presentation and impact. So our judges first of all looked in how innovative the technical solution was that you proposed, and how far creative was the one minute video that you presented, that all of you done really well. And the third criteria was impact. So what is the potential impact for the real world applications of your projects? All your projects were scaled on, uh, were sorry, evaluated on scale from one to five. Uh, one was the lowest point and five was the highest point. And uh, using these criteria, uh, we were able to take a look, or judges more specifically were able to take a look through the 31 projects that were submitted. And we created a short list of seven finalist projects which we are going to show to you now. So Anastasia, perhaps you'd like to start with the first one. Thank you, Andrew. I'm very honored to announce our first highlight, which is Operation Science Rescue Online Science Show. Team number 33 with five participants on board. As the goal of the project was to develop an interactive online science show. And I think uh, we have one representative of the team. Uh, Sarah, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Sarah. Uh, so congratulations from our side. Uh, your project Thank is you. one of highlight of, uh, has highlights. Uh, how do you feel? Um, it's amazing. I don't think any of us thought it would kind of turn out as well as it did. Um, but it's been fantastic fun this weekend. And I have loved working with my team. And I'm just so happy that we got to create something like this. Uh, Sarah, is it your first time participating in Sunweb Fest? Yeah, first web fest ever. <laughs> first hackathon ever, I mean. And you liked the experience, as I, as I can understand. Thank you so much for this nice feedback. Uh, Sarah, uh, can you maybe tell us of, um, of the difficulties, uh, of the obstacles you faced uh, during the web fest? I think the, the main thing about our project was it was proposed by the like CERN local engagement um, office. So we didn't have a team leader, we didn't have a proposer to kind of guide us. It just sort of was us fired into it and we had to come up with the idea. We had to come up with like how we were going to do it. We had to divide all the workload and that was kind of strange. Um, it's not the sort of usual teamwork thing, but you know, my, my three teammates were fantastic and even though the time zones were a bit of an issue, we had one sort of team working in the night and one team working in the day and everything came together. But well done. Uh, your project is uh, one of the highlights. Uh, so I, um, despite of all difficulties, you managed so well. Thank you so much. Um, Sarah, my last question Thank would you. be, uh, what have you liked, liked most about the Senweb Fest? I think I have to say like being able to work with such an international team um, virtually uh, just because you know we were so spread out across the globe but we we're also so spread out in experience you know there's a couple of us who are still in university and then we have like someone doing a PhD and we've someone done a PhD so it was amazing to just be able to take that and all work together on the same project even though we had such different lives. Thank you, Sarah. I do hope that uh, your team uh, will stick together and that you will further work on your project uh, and uh, further develop it uh, also in the future. Thank you so much for joining the Santa Web Fest, the special edition, and thank you so much for joining this call. The very best luck to you and all the team also, Feza. Thank you very much. Andrew, should I hand over to you to announce our second highlight? So um, I'm actually pleased to announce that we're going to be able to show the short one minute videos of each of our finalist uh, teams. So we're now going to, to roll the video for Operation Science Rescue. It was captured on a secret mission. Now they must use science to escape. Can you help? In this online science adventure, we use the group intelligence of the audience to guide our spies to escape from their captivity. The live feed of our spies is streamed directly to your screens and you call the shots. The interactive questions in Pear Deck enable anyone aged 8 and up to vote on which experiments to perform, how to perform them and what to explore next. Your votes will determine the course of the mission. Each experiment will lead you closer to success. All spies are trained for the experiments before the mission and you can follow along by looking at their case files. Across the adventure, you will get additional information on each topic directly from the headquarters. 
All the experiments are easy to replicate from home, so all you need to participate is an internet connection and a passion for discovery. If you only get one shot, can you choose the right path to saving science, or will it just blow up in your face? So, uh, we'd now like to go to the next of our uh, projects, uh, our finalist projects, which was the uh, ECG digitalizer for patients with COVID-19 systems. So, um, this was done by Team 38 uh, with four participants, and their goal was to create a platform to help medical researchers analyze ECG data of COVID-19 patients. So, I believe we have someone from that team who's kindly going to join us now on the on the webcast. Hello, guys. Hi, how are you Hi. doing? Thank you very much. I'm very fine. So thank you very much for your for your hard work on, on this. Would you be able to give us a, a, a very brief uh, one minute summary of, of what the project is about? OK, uh, so uh, as uh, I'm a medical student, uh, I've been working on some uh, project uh, on ECGs for cardiology. And uh, I had an idea how to do a machine learning collaboration with it. So we went on with that. Uh, but uh, when we heard about the WebFest and the opportunity here, we, uh, we were th thinking about uh, how we can put this uh, into a perspective where we can use it for COVID-19 and uh, push uh, the boundaries of what, where scientific community, especially in medical sciences, can uh, communicate with each other and maybe uh, build a great uh, data set and data center for uh, information on COVID-19, for further research on it, for machine learning uses, as we want to do ourselves. So the basic idea came from that. And uh, over the three, last three days, uh, we have worked uh, days and nights, and it was a great experience. Uh, Right, and, and Sina, if I recall correctly, I believe you're based in Iran? Yes, yes. And, and the rest, and your, your fellow team members? Uh, uh, the other friend I know, which I know personally, Ali, is uh, uh, also based in Iran. Uh, the, the other two members, uh, we have Arieta from Europe and we have Ayush from uh, India. We will, uh, we will glad to be working with them. Uh, they were such a great teammates, and I'm so happy for it. Great, thank you very much indeed. Uh, perhaps thank we can you. now uh, show your short one minute video. Hello guys, this is Sina from Team 38. Let's walk you through EGG database for COVID-19. As you can see, this is our basic workflow. Uh, we take an EGG image we put it to a segmentation process and then a digitalization part, which is run by some OCR detectors. And the final, uh, the final output is going to be fed to a database. So this is a EKG data sheet. It's graded. We're going to noise cancel it and get rid of this graded in the background, then dedicate a different cap color for each signal uh, and then run some object detections on it. And we get what we get is uh, 12 different signals. As you can see, this is a binary image of it. Then we're going to uh, run some OCR detection on it and uh, create a digital uh, image exactly like this for each data point. There's a T and there's a voltage. And this is our goal. So at the end, we're going to uh, uh, design a UI user interface for our website. As you can see, this is a template. We have created an emergency kit for COVID-19. And basically, this is all the whole idea. I hope a great run for everyone. Thank you very much. Peace. So thank you again for that, uh, Sina. Uh, we're now going to go on to the, the next of the uh, highlighted projects. Indeed. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I'm very excited to announce our third highlight. As a team number 27, let's type in more thinking with 16 participants on board. As the goal of this project was to create a web application providing a database with hundreds of physics and math equations written in LaDeX. Christina, I believe you are here with us. Yes, I'm here. It's Hi, Christina. Uh, so please do tell us a little bit more about, uh, about your project. Yes, of course. 
So it was an idea that it's been in my mind for quite some time, uh, especially when I was writing my dissertation and I had to include a lot of equations about quantum mechanics. Uh, I've also spoke to a lot of, of my lecturers and they all said that they're just copying and pasting and writing by hand every time when they want to create some notes. And I thought that this is stupid and it's kind of a huge waste of time and resources. And hence the idea of the project, less typing, more thinking. Uh, and I'm really, really glad that so many people got on board. We had 15, even 16 members in our team. Uh, we had a great mentor, big shout outs to uh, Dan Lemon, who was always uh, on the channel. He was always like supporting, jumping on issues. And yeah, it was a, a great weekend full of uh, exciting stuff. Uh, Christina, thank you. As you mentioned, you had 16 participants on board. Uh, how did the team work and uh, go for you? It was quite challenging, I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie. Uh, it was challenging also because we, not only because we were many, but also because we were all around the globe. So I counted we had five people based on five different continent, continents, which covered all time zones. Um, but I, I made sure to schedule some Zoom calls mm -hmm. on like every, every few hours to make sure that we were on track. We had different groups with different sub-channels. Uh, towards the end, some people just grouped together to work on the presentation. Everyone was super involved, super proactive. They were constantly asking about how to, how to help, what to do next. Uh, also, they were suggesting ideas. And it was, it was challenging, but we made it work, I believe. And we're also happy that it went well for you. Um, Christina, what did you like most uh, about your Sandweb Fest experience? Um, as I mentioned, I love that we were people from all around the world with different experience. For some, it was their first hackathon. Um, so they, they really, um, they really liked the experience. They, they shared with me their thoughts. They would definitely participate again next year. Um, for me personally, it was the first, uh, online hackathon. So it was a very, very new experience. So thank you for organizing this, for making it happen. Um, personally, I love that we could pitch our own ideas. So we had some stuff provided from CERN, but we can also work on something that we thought it was, uh, worth working on. And I think that was, that was good. Thank you so much, Christina, for your nice feedback. And we are looking forward to welcoming you next year also. Looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you. Bye. Okay. again. So we'd now like to move on to the, the next of our, our featured finalist uh, projects. And uh, this project is called Cities CERN, Urban Solutions for People. And this was submitted by Team 5, which had four participants. And their goal was to create an app to help research centers solve urban challenges. And I believe we have Adolfo uh, joining us on the line. Adolfo, hi, how are you? Hi, hello. It's an honor for me to represent the Series and project. And Adolfo, could you tell us where you're joining from today, please? Excuse me? Uh, could you tell us where you're joining from, please? I'm from Mexico, That's and right. we are a, a, a very diverse team from many parts of the world. So if I understand correctly, am I right in thinking you're, you have people in your team also from Europe and from Asia? Yes. Great. And, and how did you all get on? Did you, did you all uh, pick times to work together or did you hand over in shifts uh, with the time zone changes? How did that all work out for you? It was very funny, but 
we learn about how, how to make things happen. Okay, great. And um, in terms of your, your project itself, obviously we're going to see your video in a moment, but uh, maybe there's one or two other things you could, you could tell us about it beforehand. Yes, I, I have some words for, the, for this incredible moment. So dear mentors, board members, and everyone who made, that made this possible. Thank you very much for this unique opportunity. It's an honor for me to represent the Citizen Project. We feel wonder when we look at the stars and that makes us more human. So we believe this is the best moment to, to accelerate research and to bring science for everyone. Thank you so much indeed, uh, Adolfo. Uh, so without further ado, let, let's take a look at your video, please. Thank you so much, Adolfo, and thank you so much for a nice feedback that, to be honest, made me cry a little bit. Um, but we are moving on, uh, and we are moving to our next highlight, as uh, the first highlight, um, which is Labyrinth, uh, team number 24, with four participants on board. Uh, the goal of the uh, challenge, the idea, was to develop a platform for sharing remote access to laboratory equipment. And I believe we have uh, Bahradin, Bahradin sorry, uh, representing the team. Hello. Hello from Bosnia. Hello, nice, nice to online meet you. Uh, how, how do you feel? Oh, excellent. It's a pleasure to have been here with you. Uh, it's been just an amazing experience. Uh, please tell us a little bit more. What uh, did you like most about Senweb Fest? Well, getting back to my friends and uh, just uh, having an endless call with them and joking around. Uh, my two friends, Nermedin and Haris, Haris are just the funniest persons ever. So uh, we, we struggled with that actually uh, to do some work. They were just joking around too much. <laughs> that's, but that's good, that's good. Yeah, but you did quite well. I mean, congratulations. Your project is one of the finalists. Um, Bakhradin, um, you were only four people in a team. So we saw projects with 16 people on board and you were only four. How did it work for you? Uh, it went well, actually, because a, a good idea is half of the project done. So we planned out properly in the beginning and then uh, uh, we worked on it. And uh, luckily, we, we finished just minutes before the deadline to submit the video. <laughs> well done. And would you like to tell us a little bit more about your project before we go uh, move on to your video? Yes, sure. So the idea is to share laboratory equipment. I've been in many labs where everything still requires a uh, physical presence there. So um, with the current technology, we can uh, adapt to that situation and make it digital so that we don't have to actually send people in. And then with that enabled, we can access it remotely and then share our equipment with all around the world and uh, truly collaborate and accelerate research. Thank you so much. Thank you for your ideas. Thank you for your great work and to the whole team. Good luck to you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. So we can move on to the video of your team right now. Do you have a hypothesis that you want to test? Or do you have experimental equipment that you don't use? We introduce Labyrinth. With Labyrinth, you can bring any lab onto your computer. You can share laboratory equipment with your colleagues. Join the global network of uh, 
scientists and researchers. It's, it's as simple as logging onto our webpage and seeing available equipment. Uh, go to equipments that you like and uh, see their technical details. If you like them, uh, go to their rent page and get them for free or uh, for a fee. Here is an example of a remotely controlled car that uh, can uh, go around the room and measure the temperature. So another great uh, project there. And we have uh, just two more finalist projects to show you. Uh, the next one is called Next Generation Learning Management System. And it was submitted by Team 4 with seven participants. And we have um, Vaibhav on the line, who's going to join us to tell us a little bit about that. Hi, Vaibhav. Yeah, hello. Hello, Perhaps. how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Perhaps you could start by giving yeah. us a, a brief overview of what your project's about. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, to start with, our project uh, is uh, based on solving the, uh, like creating a bridge between the uh, universities and the students uh, and the problem uh, the universities are facing right now with uh, delivering a proper uh, education, uh, like educating and providing lectures and uh, creating like lab assessment and all that stuff. So we basically created a system like the most cost efficient system, which could uh, basically solve this bridge and then uh, bring up great opportunities for all the universities and schools which have been operating in this uh, COVID-19 situation. So like this is what our project is all about. Great, that, 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 sound, that sounds fascinating. Can you tell us a little bit about your team perhaps? Um, where are yeah, you joining so, from and, and where were your teammates joining from? uh all of my all of our teammates are basically from india we all stay in the same university and the idea basically was submitted by one of our professors from our university itself and uh, they invited us to uh collaborate in this project for this hackathon and i'm really grateful for uh, our professor uh, who has given us this opportunity and create this lovely uh, platform where uh, which could definitely help people in need Ah, oh, fantastic. So you actually found out about the WebFest through a professor of yours? Yes. Ah, oh, great. That, that's uh, very interesting. So you know all of your teammates uh, well and you have done, uh, you've known them for a while now? Uh, sorry? So you've known your teammates uh, for a while beforehand? Uh, not all of them, but like one or two of them. Like we are seven participants and I have only known like uh, two of them and rest all of them like collaborating with strangers and it was a great opportunity and I thank uh, WebFest for conducting this lovely hackathon. Great, thank you. And, and do you mind if I ask, did, did you get together to, to do your hacking or did you um, do it each from your own uh, place? No, 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 everything was right from our desk at our home itself. Excellent, very good. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Uh, we're now going to take a look at the, the video from this team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we are now moving to our last highlight. Um, this is a team number six, whose name I had struggles to pronounce, but I believe this is Dato X. 
uh, with four, four participants on the board. And the goal of the project was to use artificial intelligence and machine learning to help tackle depression online. A very interesting idea. Uh, however, I'm afraid we don't have a member of the team to represent it now. I believe, however, that we will be able to cut to the video, hopefully. Sorry for this short delay. Here comes the video. Hello. When you are sad and depressed, scrolling randomly in social platforms, what if your phone starts suggesting the best choices for you? Our smart algorithms can suggest you the best music according to your mood. Or a good movie, a brilliant book, a thrilling piece of art. The algorithms might show an upcoming opportunity for you too. That or X got to know about CERN Webfest from Twitter. Our experts are making a huge database of positive, inspiring and useful contents that will be silently presented on your social media according to your preference. The AI will also filter harmful contents if you wish. You just need to install an app on your device. That's it. And thanks to our programmers we will be open sourced for the betterment of humanity. Thank you. Stay safe and smile. So, uh, hi again everybody. That was the, the last uh, of our videos, meaning that that was the, 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 the seventh and final of our uh, short list of projects. So with no further ado, it's now time to announce our overall winners uh, as selected uh, by our judges today. So we're now going to, to show the slide and I'm pleased to confirm that the overall winner of the uh, Webfest 2020 was the project ECG Digitalizer for patients with COVID-19 symptoms. So that's team 38. Um, uh, Sina, perhaps I could invite you to, to join us again. Uh. <laughs> oh, Hi, guys, Sina, are you on sorry. the line? Please, I'm uh, sorry. Are you okay <laughs> to pick your video? Me? Not oh, yet. wait a minute. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I can't start my... Uh, the host has stopped my video. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. Thank you. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it was such a nervous. Oh my God. Congratulations wow. on behalf of all thank of us. You. Thank oh, you for your excellent work. Thank you to everybody for, oh. the, for the excellent work. Um, our judges were um, very impressed indeed by your project, as, uh, as we were all in the organizing team too. So thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. So you it is hard to find rest probably for you now, but uh, please uh, do say how you feel. I mean, we can see it, but we also okay. like to hear yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how do you feel. <laughs> I'm just catch my breath. Uh, it, it's it's just very, very, very. I'm very happy for uh, for winning this. I mean, uh, we, we put a lot of effort, a lot of thinking beforehand, but uh, being able to develop the whole idea, make through some things, go through some uh, run uh, some programs on it. Do, do the actual thing we plan to do in a month, in two or three days, it was just mental. Uh, I want to thank all my teammates. They were amazing, especially Ali, which actually was the head of uh, our technology. <laughs> uh, he was great in managing all the stuff, uh, giving codes to people, what to do. And in the end, I want just to uh, thank uh, all the moderators here, all the judges. I mean. The CERN has the, been the pinnacle of human science and uh, human technology for years and years. And now ooh, at a place, I mean, I don't know, it's a coincidence, it's pandemic and I could uh, take part in it miles and miles away from home <laughs> and actually being able to deliver a project there. It's just huge. I'm so happy I can express enough gratitude and happiness. Thank well, you guys all. Well, we are very pleased indeed that you and all of your colleagues were able to take part. Um, we would really be interested to know what your plans are for taking this forward. Have you and your colleagues started to think a little bit about uh, what the next steps are for your project? Well, uh, I was actually just watching the uh, 
presentation before the announcement about uh, how to proceed as a, a startup. Uh, actually, I myself has have been always having the dream about uh, building a startup, basically something uh, in the field of AI and medicine, uh, which I believe has been left uh, unknown to engineers and machine learning experts for years. I mean, like some things like uh, digital advertisement, we see a lot of advancement in this field, but in the field of AI, uh, in the field of, uh, I'm sorry, medicine, uh, which I have a, a personal feeling, uh, I mean, I felt uh, the need for it. Uh, we can do a lot of things uh, in this uh, uh, field. We can uh, give more free time to doctors by implementing AI machine learning and doing things that uh, basically would not need any human to do it. So uh, I believe, yes, uh, I, will, I will, we will definitely use the connections we made uh, in this uh, web fest, the amazing people uh, we get to know. Uh, we will definitely uh, give guidance, uh, advice, uh, their advice, uh, and um, try to maybe someday build a startup with it, go on and do actually these things. It will be an amazing idea. That sounds fantastic, Sina. Thank you very much. There's certainly a lot of uh, potential there. And I would like to say we, we do hope that you keep in touch. Uh, and that goes for you, of course, Sina, but really for, for all of the projects shown uh, today and indeed all of the projects of the hackathon. There have been some fantastic projects that we would have loved to have mentioned during uh, this uh, presentation now. But for time reasons, we had to keep uh, the number of featured projects very short. But we really do encourage you all to keep in touch uh, as you move forward with your projects. Uh, perhaps you want to just let us know how things are going. Uh, maybe you're looking for a little bit of help or advice. Please don't hesitate to contact any of us in the organizing team uh, in the future. Thank you so much uh, again, Sina. Uh, a great work and also congratulations to to all the team, uh, as Andrew mentioned, you are all great. And a uh, special thank you to all the finalists. Um, we struggled a lot, our judges struggled a lot to, to, uh, to, to decide on a winner. So you are all winners and uh, it's great that you participated, uh, that you uh, found time and that you had this crazy weekend. You made it, uh, you managed to make it. Uh, you were all great, thank you so much. And just, of course, special congratulations to Sina and to your all team. So Andrew, what's what's next? Uh, is it is it all? So uh, we have a, a few more things just to uh, uh, remind you about. Um, first and foremost, it, as I mentioned earlier, is that all of the um, videos, uh, whether they be uh, these sessions uh, like this one now or the how-to sessions, uh, will continue to be available on the YouTube page, and they will also be compiled on the webfest.cern website uh, in the coming days. So we encourage you to go back and take a look at these. We understand uh, you know, lots of people followed them over the weekend. But I'm sure there are many of you who uh, would have liked to have followed, but were so busy hacking away on your projects, you didn't find time. So we encourage you to, to take a look at those. We encourage you, of course, to, to keep working on your projects and keep us updated. Let us know how you're getting on. And I would also like to pass over to my colleague, Carolos, uh, who is going to tell you a little bit about another upcoming hackathon that may be of interest to many of you. Over to you, Carolos. Oh, or in fact, uh, I apologize. Uh, my colleague, uh, Ben, uh, my colleague, uh, <laughs> my colleague, Daniel, is going to join us, I can see. Sorry him. for that. Oh. It's Carolos here. Uh, sort last minute change. We sorry for that. OK, so, so you've just heard Carolos, but on your screen, you can see our colleague, uh, Daniel Dobos. Uh, Daniel is the extraordinaire behind the scenes who is navigating all of the video content and cutting through all of the slides backwards and forwards. Uh, we're all extremely impressed by his, uh, his skills and his multitasking. It's, uh, it's really amazing. But Daniel, you're here to tell us about the Port Hackathon. So please do, uh, do share with everyone. Yes, thanks a lot, Andrew. Um, so yes, this is also why I'm here, why I'm basically listening also to, to the monitor uh, at the same time. And what I wanted to tell you a little bit about is to have a possibility to have a follow-up hackathon that comes at CERN in October. And we are running this now for the seventh time, if I'm uh, remembering that correct. 
And so we want to show you a tiny little slide because the opening for registering is almost uh, open for that, if I remember correctly. And here we should have a slide for that. Um, let me see if I can also that you can see me. Perfect. So the, the hackathon that you see is called the port. It's a humanitarian hackathon, which is quite similar to what you have experienced here in this uh, webfest. But uh, one of the big differences is that the challenges coming from international organizations like the Red Cross, United Nations, and others who basically give us challenges, and we have a preparation time where we, with these organizations and with our participants, trying to prepare so that in the 60 hours of the hackathon, we can make a huge progress uh, uh, towards basically solving this uh, challenges for these organizations. And what is then also nice, we talked about how to continue, so we then have already organizations who want to continue this kind of challenge. So, if you're interested in more hackathons, I know we just made one. First, relax. But maybe in one or two days, if you still feel like doing hackathons, have a look at report.ch and uh, come back to another hackathon with a humanitarian topic. And so, uh, back to you, Andrew. Thanks a lot. So, I actually, uh, my colleague uh, Anastasia, um, I believe, is going to tell us a little bit about the networking session that comes up uh, after this. Uh, indeed. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Um, I'm pleased to, uh, to share with you some very good news uh, because I'm sure uh, some of you uh, don't want to say goodbye to one another as much as we don't do. That's why we prepared a bonus, uh, so to say. Uh, all dear participants, all of you will have another chance to meet one another and to network uh, using um, our beloved remotely green app. Uh, so uh, the session will start right after this um, um, closing ceremony finishes. So please do use this chance, uh, meet one another, chat, and um, stay in touch, uh, keep in touch and uh, keep connected. Um, and please, please, please uh, do what prepares and develop your ideas further because they're all great. And as um, the co-founder of the Remotely Green app uh, mentioned to me earlier today, as uh, the goal of this um, session, networking sessions that will take place right after uh, this closing ceremony is to have fun and uh, to just enjoy your time. So please uh, do make it, uh, do follow this advice, have fun and enjoy your time. We are looking forward to meeting you there and see you soon. And now uh, there's nothing uh, else more for us to say other than to uh, thank uh, from all of us here on the Webfest team, uh, our partners for the event. So first of all, we would like to thank CERN CERN's alumni team, Crowd AI, the CERN Open Lab uh, Management, of course, uh, Citizen Cyber Lab, Glue on Net, Remotely Green, Quantum Futures, uh, the CERN Yoga Club, the CERN Fitness Club, and also uh, the Port Hackathon from whom you just from whose team you've just heard. And we would also like to thank again uh, all of our mentors. You can see uh, their names on your screen right now. Uh, please remember these people, they were uh, your saviors, our saviors over this weekend, helping you, providing you support. Uh, thank you so much, dear mentors, for being with us. And thank you once again to all of our judges. Uh, they've had a very hard task today going through the projects. Um, not only has it been difficult in terms of deciding uh, you know, based on the on the quality, which judges to shortlist, and then which uh, uh, project to pick as an overall winner. But also, um, we gave them very little time to to go through everything, read the content, watch the videos. So, so thank you very much indeed to each and every one of our judges for making time this morning and this afternoon to go through those in detail. Thank you again. And of course, uh, we cannot not mention our dear volunteers who so kindly agreed to help us over the weekend and uh, who were so dedicated. Big thank you to all of you. Uh, again, uh, all the names of the volunteers are listed on the slide. Please remember them. Uh, thank you so much, our dear volunteers. And we hope uh, to meet you again soon in another hackathon. And thank you again to each of the people uh, 
people who have given a, a how-to workshop over the weekend. I know I probably sound like a broken record on this, but I do encourage you all to go and take a look at these on the YouTube channel because there's some fantastic content there. So thank you to each and every one of our volunteers who gave a how-to workshop over the last weekend. And of course, on behalf of the whole uh, team and uh, on behalf of my also co-moderator, Andrew, we would like to thank the whole organizer team, uh, all these wonderful people who are working days and nights to make this event happen. Uh, we really uh, made a lot of efforts and put a lot of efforts and we would like to thank all of the people listed uh, on this slide uh, for your dedicated work. Uh, it was really challenging uh, to organize the Stand Web Fest um, for the first time uh, online, but we do hope you liked it. Uh, our dear participants, uh, judges and mentors, it was all done uh, for you and we are so happy to hear your positive feedback because it really means a lot to us and uh, we are so happy that you enjoyed your time and are looking more than forward to uh, see you also next time, probably already on the site if the situation allows, we do hope for that. And yes, we hope to meet you every, uh, all um, in our... Last but not least, uh, we have to, a big thank you to all of our participants. Of course. of course, sure, sure. I mean, that's uh, thanks, 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 thanks to you. It all happened. So uh, thank you so much, everyone who participated. Uh, we don't want to say goodbye by no means. Uh, so on the MetaMouse channel, you will find a link uh, to the networking session taking part right after this uh, um, ending cer closing ceremony. So please uh, keep in touch. And of course, Andrew. We have to remind our video participants not to forget to use the hashtag SendWebFest on social media if you, our video particip participants, would like to uh, mention um, your uh, work, your great weekend over the over this, this date, uh, please uh, mention the Send Web Fest uh, as a hashtag and uh, we would be all happy to see your posts. Yes, thank you very much indeed. We do uh, hope that you will keep in touch through whatever medium uh, possible, whether that's pinging, pinging us an email with a question or just letting us know how you're getting on social media. We're really keen to find out how things are progressing and how your ideas are developing. We've seen some fantastic uh, creativity and uh, over the course of the weekend, and we're really excited to see where that takes you all. So now everybody on the call is, is joining for a final farewell. I can see videos popping up. I hope you can too uh, at home or wherever you're watching from. And all that is left is to say thank you and goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.